If you guys want to replace your nine to five income with a great side hustle that doesn't take a lot of time, but can replace your nine to five income with only a few hours of work every single week, I'm going to give you guys a tip. Now, this is one of my favorite strategies to use in real estate that doesn't require you to own a property to buy one, you know, um, and is actually pretty low risk. Um, I actually did my first one like this in just 14 days. And that's using people's property or yours to furnish and rent out short term. Now, short term is like this amazing strategy that not a lot of people talk about. And we're not going for tourists here. We want to go for business people, business people who travel for work, have their companies pay you to stay at your properties that you either own or control every single day out of the year. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's your boy Sawan Belcher. This is me taking action. Actually, I'm in one of my newest um, Airbnbs that we're setting up right now, and believe it or not, is a camper. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about how we can make money short term. Now, just so you can understand, typically real estate investors make money monthly with property that they own and rent out. Now, this would usually require you to go out and get approved for some kind of loan, go out and find a deal and then buy the property and assume the risk of the tenants coming in and breaking your stuff or you try to guarantee your funds with some kind of section eight and then you end up getting a lower rent than what you could actually get in the market or some other floozy of making of making some kind of promise to somebody else who wants to stay in your property for two years and you never have access to it okay but in 2024 there is a great way for us to own or control amazing property and provide amazing experiences that you can benefit from and you can also um, provide that experience to other people and it's called short-term rentals now um i don't want you to start calling them airbnbs um, because airbnb is just one platform for you to market on okay essentially what you're going to do is acquire some kind of property. Now, if you watch some of my videos before, you'll know that we like to own these properties so that way we can get the benefits of appreciation and depreciation, but you don't necessarily have to. We typically buy our properties by either finding them off market and getting them at a really great price and having a private money guy lend on those opportunities, or we'll find some sellers who might need help paying their mortgage, so we'll take over a mortgage and then turn around and make those properties our short-term rental. The very first property that we did like this, we actually found someone who had a property up for rent in one of the best neighborhoods in Greensboro, right over by the airport. We rented the, we rented the property from him, furnished it, and got it up on all of our different sites in less than 14 days and made our first check with it. Okay, so just know that you can get into this several different ways. You don't have to own the property, but you can if you like. Okay. Now, once you acquire that property, whether it's through ownership or through lease, you will need to furnish it and you'll furnish it based off of who you're marketing to. Now, there's going to be several people that need to rent a place short term. You know, um, honestly, some people are going to need a short term place that they're willing to pay for every day because they live in the area and they need short term housing because of some, you know, unfortunate reason. Okay, so you can target those people. You can also target people who are here for tourism, you know, who are here for the local, you know, concert at the Coliseum or, you know, parents who are here to visit their uh, kids from, you know, from college or business people coming here for work. You can choose that audience and that's the way you'll set the property up and also choose your location of where that property is, is who your target audience is. Now, for me, I found out that people will pay more stay longer and keep my properties in better shape if I go for the business person, okay? So business people who like doing this are typically traveling nurses, contractors that are here temporarily, and then also um, insurance agencies. These three categories of people will keep your units booked, full, and they'll pay consistently and come back for more 
if you provide a great experience for them. Now, when setting up that furniture, these are business people. So you need to have fast internet and a workplace, okay? And typically the best comforters and best mattresses you could find. Because realistically, if they just came in on a flight and they traveled, that sleep is gonna be important to them and that internet, they need that for work. Okay, so whenever you set these up, don't be afraid of going for the smaller houses. That's the coolest part, too, because typically my units are one bedrooms, one baths or two bedrooms, one bath. And that's perfect for somebody here for work. Now, for the tourists, you know, they might want a four or five bedroom or for the person, you know, that's here locally. They might even want like a little studio, but a one bedroom, one bath with, um, you know, with a nice desk and some fast internet will work perfectly for someone in business. Now, when it comes to marketing, you can use sites like Airbnb, VRBO, Furnish Finder, and Booking.com in order for them to bring you clients. Just understand that those are your clients, so treat them as such. Those are not your primary sources of income because you can get direct bookings. People who know about your properties and your units that you have up for rent by coming directly to you. This will help you, number one, get their contact information so you can continue to market to and they come back for more. Also, make more money because you don't have to worry about paying some other platform for a fee, but also it'll help you create some kind of brand. Typically, when I'm getting direct bookings, I'm marketing my properties on Facebook or Instagram through a short form video or just telling people out in the local area, hey, if you have family coming into the town for the weekend, I have properties that they can stay at that's all furnished. It includes everything. All they got to do is come and stay. And believe it or not, those referrals will bring about some local authority, but also pay you a lot more because they're not doing any price research online. They're coming directly to you. Simply send them an invoice via PayPal with some quick instructions to check in using like a keypad lock and they're locked in. Now, if you guys really get this down, you'll want to you'll want to have not just one, but two. And you'll start to create a little team, get a nice cleaner and a virtual assistant to do to do all the communications for you. And just like me, this will only take about four to six hours of your time every single week. Currently, we operate seven units and we're looking to grow and start this eighth one so we can get up to 10 before, um, you know, before the first quarter of the year is out. So if you guys would like to learn more about short term rentals and how you can replace your nine to five income making checks every single day, forget getting paid 12 times a year or 25 or 50 times a year. Why not get paid every day with short term real estate in 2024? See you guys on the next one. Peace.